I have an old pool table from Town Square Miniatures that has seen better days. To start this makeover, I'm removing the velvet top. It's only glued around the edges and it came off very easily because the glue is quite old. I'll be painting this mahogany wood because that's a fast and easy way to update this piece of furniture. So I'm taping off the top where I'll be attaching new fabric later. Rather than trying to get the tape to cover the top perfectly, I'm leaving excess that I can trim off later. I'm using my knife at a slight angle downward to get a clean cut across the back to reveal the inside edge of the pool table on both ends. With all the excess tape removed, I can start sanding this piece of furniture to give the paint better adhesion. You can use a range of grits from 120 to 240 or even an emery board. We're just using the sandpaper to scuff the surface. We're not restaining the piece, so we don't have to go down to bare wood. Oops, lost a leg. I'll have to glue that on later. Over time, glue loses its bond because it dries out, so it's pretty common for dollhouse miniatures to lose legs. Once I was done sanding, I used a damp paper towel to clean up all the dust. I will be painting the table, but for now I am making the new top using the old top as a template. Pool tables are topped with felt, so I thought felt would be the perfect material to replace the old velvet. I started by lining up the old fabric along the factory perfectly square edges of the felt, and the velvet stuck down pretty well because it had some tooth on the back. For a nice clean cut, I used my ruler and rotary tool, but you could also draw some lines and cut this with scissors. The felt cuts very cleanly and it doesn't fray, so it's perfect for a project where I won't be finishing the edges. I need to cut away some of the felt to accommodate the pool pockets, and the felt is pretty hard to draw on, so I'm using a marker in a dotting motion to mark where I need to cut. There are markers designed for drawing on fabric, but I don't have any. For the corners, I cut on the outside of my marker line so there won't be any brown marker visible around my pocket. The center pockets on either side are just straight lines, so I drew dots to use as guides and just cut straight lines to the dots and straight lines between like the original fabric has. I used my airbrush to get a thin even coating of paint onto the pool table. There's lots of carving on this piece, but it would be easy enough to paint by hand. Most of the time I paint everything by hand, but this was one of those rare lucky moments where my airbrush was working and didn't become clogged. I painted my table with two coats of acrylic black paint, but you could go in an entirely different direction and choose a different color scheme or keep the original wood and only replace the fabric. Now that the table is painted, I can remove my tape that was masking off the top. The tape did remove some of the paper coating underneath, but it won't affect the final product. The old fabric was only glued around the edges, but I'm taking a different approach and spreading an even layer of tacky glue across the entire table top. I think gluing the entire piece of fabric down will prevent it from bubbling in the future. I applied glue around the edges as well. Installing the new felt is nice and easy. I just laid it evenly over the top and used my 123 block to tightly press it into the corners. 123 blocks are machined to be exactly 1 inch by 2 inch by 3 inches. My blocks weigh exactly a pound each. They're a really handy tool to have for a crafter. Let me know if you'd like to see how I made the pool sticks. And make sure to check out my other videos.